get the door, get the door, get the door. Am I the a-hole for kicking my cousin out over my cat? So I, 37 female, was very close to my 37 female cousin as we were born within months. Earlier this year, her then-fiancé kicked her out to move her side chick in. Becky then asked to move in with me. I have a cat that I found hiding inside my car, Gar. Gar is my baby, and I adore him. He was a little hesitant when Becky moved in, but warmed up to her. Gar started acting weird. I wasn't sure what was up, so I took him to the vet. She said it might be a little anxiety still over Becky. In July, she started making comments about thinking she was allergic to Gar, as her eyes were itchy and watery. I felt bad telling her I'd buy her allergy medicine, but she said they weren't helping. So I started cleaning more, trying to reduce the hair and dander more. I asked Becky if things were better, and she says lightly, but she was still suffering. She asked me to confine him into my bedroom so the common rooms were clear of him. I told her no. I had to leave for a few days for a baby shower. My plan was to go to the shower then visit with my friend. Halfway through the shower, my phone rang. I didn't know the number and figured if it was important, they'd leave a message. And they did. I excused myself to listen, finding out it was a shelter the next county over. Apparently, a woman dropped off my cat saying they found him. Gar is microchip, thank God. The girl behind the counter explained, and I just knew it was Becky. I arrived home, and Becky saw me from the garage. Her face looked panicked as I got out. She said she was sorry, but Gar got out, and she hadn't found him. I said... Weird, as Blank County Animal Shelter said they had Gar. She shifted a little when I asked what really happened. That was when the word on it started. It ranged from her allergies to Gar being under her foot all the time to the stench of the litter box. I told her I have Gar and that she has two days to leave. I'm sure her mom would take her back. The waterworks started before she screamed, stomping inside, grabbing her keys and leaving. That was a week ago. Am I the a-hole? I want to know, did she just not like the cat? It seemed like she had allergies, and then she was like, this is too much, and she took it into her own hands to get rid allergies. of Allergies. That's what it felt like to me. Um, yeah. No, to answer your question, no, she's not the a-hole. Um, I would not even be friends with her anymore because my pet is, like, my daughter. Interesting. Okay. Do you have a pet? Yeah, I have a dog. Oh, okay. nice. She's a L.A. dog, Maltese poodle. What Very is high maintenance. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, don't recommend. <laughs> honestly, I got her because I'm like, oh my gosh, no high maintenance because she doesn't shed. Still high maintenance, but okay. yeah, no, I. What does high maintenance mean? Like she asks for like a Starbucks coffee every day. Like what's going on? What's an <laughs> LA dog look like? A, yeah, she asked for a double espresso with oat milk, <laughs> and I can't afford Dang, that. Just every day, <laughs> the daily. Um, no, she has to get groomed, like. Oh, every week and a half because she doesn't shed, so I feel like she gets dirty faster. And she was fine when mm. she was younger, but I don't know because she's six. It's really hard to maintain Dang. her coat. And then I had to, and now I have to, not have to. I I get her farmer's dog now, okay. which is like that really expensive, yeah, pricey food. Pricey food. She freaking loves it, but. I do my nails less so I can afford her food. You're just going broke <laughs> <laughs> just to keep we, your animal I, alive? No, really. Like, I <laughs> I canceled my Spotify subscription. What? Today, actually. I'm like... Yo, this dog is taking over your life. <laughs> <laughs> She's family now. Like, uh, I can't imagine my roommate being like, I have allergies and then lies. And this is your cousin. Times. Think about this. Oh, this is her cousin. Her cousin. I forgot that whole intro. Like, oh, why was she kicked out? Yeah, she <laughs> her was. Her fiance kicked her out to Bro, bring. Probably because she got rid of his cat too. <laughs> Dang, she's out here ruining families, huh? Yo, she didn't learn the first. Time. <laughs> I would have kicked her out too, just because, like, hey, this is my home, and I have my life established a certain yeah. way, which includes my cat. And then you come in, you have to fit into my world. I don't fit around your world. Yeah. You're the one visiting me, and I'm doing you a favor. Obviously, they're incompatible living partners, cousins, whatever. But to get rid of my cat. That's kind of psycho, with though. your head. Like, no, like, no, 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 no. So props to getting your pets chipped. Is your dog chipped? Oh, yeah, she's chipped. I mean, if it's costing her this much money, she better be yes. chipped, no? <laughs> She's chipped. Um, Dang. Have you had any situation like this happen? Where My friend did. 
her. Oh. She didn't. She didn't chip her cat, um, because she was still young. Like the cat was still young, but then something happened. Didn't come home, and then she's like, "I should have chipped my cat." And I'm like, "Girl, that's the first thing you do." <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm a cat and dog person, mo- mostly dog person, but, um. I live in the mountains, or not mountains. I live in like hill, hilly areas. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of wildlife, so I just mm. need to know where my dog. Because uh, there's like coyotes and stuff where you're around, isn't it? Yeah, I had a and rattlesnakes. And rattlesnakes. You've been telling us earlier. <laughs> I lost everything. my my uh, the dog before this to coyotes. What? And she and that dog was chipped too. And I never found, like, no one turned her in. But the gardener, like, luckily the gardeners found her. Called her or something? Call her. And then they called me. And that's Bad how times. I found out. But I need to know, like, if my dog does happen to, like, I lose her or something, I need to know that she's at least chipped if someone found her. Well, luckily he had one yeah. on his cat because. That cousin crazy. That cousin. But how, like, how many. It's just alarming because if my cousin is lying about this and is mm-hmm. capable of lying about something like this, I just wouldn't trust them anymore. Yeah. It's kind of wild. I wouldn't want to live with that person. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, now is a cat, but then what's next, huh? She's about to throw you out. Take you to a shelter. Like, <laughs> she's going to take, take your man and she's going to be the... <laughs> yeah, the <that> household. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's gonna be the sad hoe. <laughs> Dang. Top comment here though is not the a hole. The cat was here first. Becky had no right taking your cat to an animal shelter without your consent or knowledge. If she doesn't like the cat, then she's welcome to leave. But what did she? But what did she did was way out of line. Yeah. I mean, uh, cat was here first. You get the hell out of here, Becky. Anybody who's new who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours and uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us. Hear some Reddit stories and let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Laters.